Welcome back to our channel. Today we delve into the intriguing biography of Francis Gordy Anabo from Edo State. He was once a prominent figure in Lagos, known for his wealth and generosity. But as they say, every rise has its fall. And Gordy's story is a vivid example of falling from grass to grace. At the peak of his success, Gordy Anabo was the influential publisher of Art Magazine. Celebrated for his generosity and deep pocket, he ventured into various businesses, including Art Magazine, a striving romance publication, a color printed business, serving major newspapers, a security company, and a significant presence in Lagos real estate with over 100 buildings. Gordy was not just wealthy, he lived an extravagant lifestyle. With a reported 3 billion naira net worth in 1990, equivalent to 70 billion today, he hosted white parties attended by foreign ambassadors and was a key figure in the Lagos social scene. His lavish spending, owning 59 luxury cars and patronizing high-end hotels like Sheraton made him a legendary figure of the 1990s. Gordy Anabo, a man who made at least 30 people billionaires, is now left with nothing. He lost his fortune, relationships, and the entire life. This video is a much watch for every young person wanting to navigate the complexities of finances. Gordy made a lot of money working with breweries and different companies before he traveled abroad. However, things took a turn when he invested in top breweries and encountered mismanagement. Gordy has made individuals like Chris Shoguro billionaires spending a whooping 86 million naira at Lagos Sheraton Hotel to host people from London. Imagine the worth of 86 million naira in the year 1990. That is worth billions of naira just to host people from London. Unfortunately, despite his generosity, he now finds himself in a rough situation with little support from those he helped. Regarding the downfall of Gordy business, corruption and mismanagement played a significant role. He invested his money, but the people he trusted ran the businesses down. Lesson learned is that employ reliable people and involve them in the success of the business. Gordy also exposed that his wife, Antonia, contributed to the downfall. She shared money with people on purchases and supplies without his knowledge. His workers even built houses from the company's earnings behind his back. Hmm, pathetic. His wife, Antonia, left with their children to the UK when the money ran out. And he accuses her of colluding in his downfall. Hmm. A person no marry wife will go bring downfall to his career. After Gordy went broke, his friends took advantage of his financial need. He was offered 80 million naira for a house worth 300 million naira. His guest house was rented out and his fleet of over 50 cars was also lost. Despite giving 60% of what he had to people, only a few like Mike Biggie have helped him. Gordy Anabo had over 50 cars, including models like Bentley, Rolls Royce, and others. Imagine someone driving Rolls Royce in the year 1990. That shows you how rich the person is. Imagine someone driving Bentley in the years 1990. That shows you how rich he is. Imagine someone driving or owning over 50 cars, fleet of cars in the year 1990. That is showing you how rich Gordy was in the prime. He loved purchasing newly manufactured car vehicles. If a vehicle is not trending, if it is not newly manufactured, Gordy is never going to purchase that car. So that was how he ran his career. He loved purchasing newly manufactured vehicles. Reflecting on the challenges he faced, 
God is said, household enemies have been a significant order in his life. It has become evident to him that the individuals he played trust in do not genuinely care about his well-being. With all the story I have been saying since, it is actually evident that Gordy tried to return back to his household and community, but it was paid back with evil. You guys might be wondering what is the source of Gordy's wealth. Hmm. Now, let me tell you something. So, you all will see yourself as smarter or better than those who survive on a legitimate hustle. Gordy made most of his money from fraud. Regarded as 419 in the year 1990s, he made so much money and tried to turn illegal money to illegal money. He made money from 419, duping and scamming people and tried to use it to build legitimate source by investing it in different companies but guess what he failed woefully you are only stocking up for the canker worms to come and feast on you while at the same time you are raking up generational causes upon yourself in a bid to live your life on the fast lane the fast lane can lead to unending sorrow and shame repent turn a new leaf and be contented with your hard end Imagine someone worth about 70 billion era in the year 1990s and resulted into being a taxi driver in the year 2023. Imagine the rise and fall of Gordy Francis. Just imagine. I won't stop preaching the word as one who has lived the life and left the page. At the end of the day, Karma knows everyone's address. So, if you are feeding on people's hard end money by duping and scamming them of their hard end money, it is not too late to change your path from the way because it, you are allowing the canker worms that want to feed on you to just take it slow. Karma knows everyone's address. It might take longer than you expect, but you will still encounter it. Repent and turn a new leaf. So this is just a summary of everything that happened to ex-Nigerian billionaire. May we not be called the ex-Nigerian billionaire in Jesus' name. Because imagine someone that was billions of naira, now resulting to a normal, ordinary taxi driver with a car not even worth a million naira. Hmm. So guys, this is the story. Don't forget to subscribe for more eye-opening and catchy stories like this until next time don't forget to subscribe share to your friends or family share to your friends that you think they are not in the right part of legitimate also let them have a clear understanding of what hustling illegally can get them into goodbye guys still remain your boy me your blogger i'll be right back with another update anytime soon stay safe stay jiggy